called the clumsy custard photo show. There was an argument between two characters that kind of struck me one night while I was drawing in my sketchbook, so I sketched up the plot diagram. A year and a half ago, this was only that, a sketch in my sketchbook. And now it's stage ready. And I do want to give a big thank you to Mrs. Sajid for pretty much giving me complete direction and letting me run it. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
rapidly. Although she is doubtful, but it is shown that we are, we are not always what we seem. All it takes is a little bit of hope. That was better, but you can't get ahead of yourself. Concentrate, know your skills, and be ready for the day. Let's I, try again. I just, I don't know what's going on. It's been two weeks, and it feels like I've just gotten worse. You are getting better. You just need to concentrate. Come on, there you can do it. Not to fret, my king. 
She will be fine.
Why everyone knows that story. The green gem stolen by the goblins through the entire kingdom out of balance. This village itself is huge in trade, but since it's been stolen, it's no longer a trading powerhouse. Sorry to hear, but we really must be going. Let me go with you. I'm sure you could use the help, and I'd love to put everything back in the balance. Wait right here. There's a man who'd like to help us on our journey. What do you think? <laughs> Welcome to the team! Thank you. I've met Roman Nara, but I haven't met you two. I am Eli. I am a blacksmith of the Kingdom of Jamor. <laughs> so I see. And you? For I am Princess Amelia of the Kingdom of Jamor. One moment. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't just say that you're a princess. Why not? I am a princess! I know you are, but... Other people know that they may try to capture you, if not do something else. You must understand that not everyone is on the road to you, especially those who have the bloodline of those who lost the gem because it's unbalanced chaos in the first place. <laughs> Anyways, where were we? Uh, I think it's time to head out. All right, let's go. Ever since our precious gun was stolen. 
They paid us to watch over until the gods broke and stole. They treated us so poorly ever since, as if we meant for it to be taken. Well then, you'd be happy to know we're after the very princess who sits on the throne. I would be honored to help if I may you. And what can you offer us? More manpower, as I am expertly afraid of the sword. I am also a royalty. I am Elfric, the Elf Prince. <laughs> Well, Ayla, Adi, what do you say? Should we take him? Absolutely. It'll make it much easier to take them out. <laughs> <laughs>
could all use some of this. Here it is. 
the entrance to the cave of the Goblin Kingdom. Finally, we made it. But what about Nara? She, she could be out there. She could be a danger. Rowan, I truly believe that Nara's not that far behind. And we're too close. We must finish the quest. Amelia, 
I know this seems bad, but remember when you said you had a strange feeling? Did it feel like power? Yeah, but what is that supposed to do with anything? Channel that! Breathe that energy! No! Why are you two? Edgar, you have the gem. Right here in my pocket. Then let's finish business! Stop it! Why are you doing this? No! No! I said stop! It's my leash! Well, yes, I have. Why? 
Well, I found a prophecy that spoke of ten princes in the world who would become great knights. However, it also mentioned someone who would be working with them. As to where was. But why was he following us?
struggle with whatever I 